Hey guys, Aisha here. And today I am going to share with you some of the beauty bakery stuff I got in the mail that I ordered. And I got like last week. So, that's what the box looks like. It's really cute. It reminds me of Too Faced. I think their stuff comes in like a little box with pink little frillies and tissue paper and stuff too. But just super cute. But anyway. I've been following Beauty Bakery on Instagram for like two years and this is the first time I've ordered anything from their, from them. And yeah, I don't know why it took me so long. I finally decided to go ahead and order some stuff from them just because I was super curious. I mean, the stuff seemed really good and I've heard nothing but good things about it. So I went ahead and ordered some stuff for myself and today I tried it out for the first time ever. So let's get into it. So anyway, the first thing I did well, it was my foundation routine before I sat down to even do this video. Um, and then the first thing I used was this Beauty Bakery's Flower, which is setting powder. And it says better, not bitter on it. But I got the yellow setting powder because I have the Laura Mercier brown setting powder, which I really, really love. But, but I honestly just ran out, so... That sucks. I need to get some more. But anyway, I got the yellow one of this to set my highlighter. And you can also use it to set your face, which is what I did in this video too. Because, like I said, I'm out of setting powder, which I would normally use. So, I use this to bake just a little bit under my eyes. I usually don't bake for a long time just because it can cause flashback. And it can dry out under my eyes, which I really don't like. So, I just usually put it on there for less than a minute and then wipe it away. But it was really nice. It wasn't hard to wipe away at all. I noticed that with some other setting powders, they are kind of hard to wipe away. Even if I just put it on there, just for a few seconds, it's like stuck on there. But this wiped away pretty easily. And it's not too drying or anything. And I did take some pictures and there was no flashback, so that's good. And I did use a little bit of this just to dust over my face because I get oily especially with all these lights and I needed something to help control the oil so yeah and it looks pretty good if I don't if I do say so myself so yeah I really like this stuff and the flower setting powder the yellow one just what I got is $24 for 0.49 out ounces 14 grams so that's about half an ounce for this $24 which is not bad. I think that's why I was so hesitant at first because it was so expensive and I haven't, it's something I haven't tried yet and it's not something I'm like super familiar with. So that I think that's why I was like a little hesitant to try Beauty Bakery because it is like the same price as a lot of like high end or like more expensive makeup. It's not the price of drugstore makeup basically. So that's why I was more hesitant. It's like, eh, it's kind of kind of expensive, and I've never tried it. And I, I've heard some things about it, but not a whole lot. So, yeah. But anyway, I tried it. It's good stuff. I like it. It's half an ounce, $24. So anyway, the next thing I used was this Dark Brown Brownies Brow Pomade. And I really, really like this stuff. This stuff is interesting. Like, it is honestly, like, the consistency of a brownie batter, like, like, in the middle of it baking or, like, just straight up brownie batter. But, yeah, I really like this stuff. I like how dark it is. And I like how easy it was to apply. And I did try to, like, wipe away some of my mistakes. And this stuff does not move. So, I really like it. I really like my eyebrows right now. But yeah, I really like this stuff. And for some reason, it's like hard for me to find brow pomade that's like dark enough. And this is definitely dark enough. Like this is just the right shade, the right color that I need. So yeah, and this six milligrams. It's called an eyebrow gel. I think this is the darkest one because the next one under there is just brown. But yeah, this is. Uh, eyebrow gel and this was $16 for three grams and a little definitely does go a long way 
I just kind of wanted to try something different. I've been using the Anastasia and the Tarte for such a long time, like over a year now, and I just wanted to try something different. But I really, really like that. And then next, which is pretty much the main thing I went on the website to get, was this Beauty Bakery Illuminator So Icy. And I got the shade Jammed. And I thought these were really cute and interesting. Because there were so many different colors. They had like green, orange, purple. Of course the bronze shades. And like gold, rose gold, etc. All the usual colors. But I wanted to try something different. So I got the purple shade in Jammed. Or Jammed in the purple shade. So yeah. So this was $32 for almost half an ounce as well. And... Make sure you tap the top before taking this off and take it off slowly so you don't spill it. But yeah, it's so, so pretty. And a little definitely goes a long way. I did use this on my eyes as well. I don't know why, but this video kind of turned into like an 80s look sort of video with my sweater, my headband, and everything. I don't know. I didn't plan it. It just happened. But yeah, so I decided to go for a purple eye look. Because why not? So yeah, I really love this stuff. This was the main reason why I went on the website and then I saw all the other stuff. I was like, okay, let me try some other things as well. But anyway, the next thing I used was this Sprinkles Glue. Sprinkles Glue. And I used this for my eyeshadow while well, I used this to apply the highlighter on top of my eyelids. And this stuff was really good as well. I really like the little applicator because it goes exactly where I want it to go so I don't have to use my finger or anything like that or a brush or anything and this little thing was six dollars and this was this is 0 0.08 ounces so yeah it's, okay. it's cute and the last things I got from there were these two lip products one was from the Gabby Douglas collection and the other is just the one of the regular lip whips and the one I really wanted from the Gabby Douglas was the really bright red color, but that was sold out. So I got this color in Berry Mousse. And the lip whip, I got it in Ginger Snap. And Ginger Snap is what I'm wearing right now. As you'll see in the video, when I first applied it, it applied kind of patchy. But then I remember I had like a little bit of chapstick on, so I wiped that off and reapplied it. And it applied fine with just one coat. So at first I was like, oh man. At first, I was about to be super disappointed, but it's fine. It's good. It's good stuff. And they're both matte liquid lipsticks. So, yeah, which is interesting because they, when I swatched them on my, on my hands, they looked like, they looked like um, lip glosses. But I put it in my mouth and let it dry, and it dries down to a matte lip, lip, blah, blah. It dries down to a matte lipstick. So, yeah. So, so far, I like everything I got. It's interesting. Usually, I would just go to ColourPop to get my liquid lipsticks. That's why I haven't really bought any other lipsticks from anywhere else because they're like $20 or whatever. And I could just go to ColourPop and find the dupe for like 5 or $6. But I wanted to go ahead and try these. And these are really cool. But yeah, these, this was $20. And I think the Gabby Douglas one was about $14. So yeah. And, um, it's because they're about to go out of stock. So yeah. That was it. My phone's about to die. But yeah, that is it. I really like the products. I don't know why I waited so long to try it. Like I said, I was kind of hesitant. But I am glad I tried them. I want to know your thoughts. Like, have any of you ever tried this stuff? What do you think of it? I know I saw, like... A little snippet of a review that Jackie Anna did of the flower setting powder and she raved about it but I saw that like after I ordered it so I didn't I had no idea but it is good stuff honestly and I could just see them just getting bigger and bigger because it is good stuff and now they've come out with concealers and stuff I can just see them going with foundation sooner I can see them coming out with foundations soon and stuff like that as well. So, 
yeah i really like it i'm glad i ordered from them but and the shipping was not bad it really didn't take long for me to get it it took maybe a week or so it really didn't take very long but and they have free shipping over 50 dollars i think so yeah anyway glad i got it great product you should i would say try it i would say give it a try try like one or two products see how you feel about it and go from there like i said it's good stuff it's yeah i can see why they charge the price they do i mean it's not yeah it's not mediocre product it's good product but anyway that is it i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up especially for my hair i really like it today yeah i like it so anyway thank you guys i'll see you next time bye